What's good, good people, and welcome to episode 30 of It's Just Not Adding Up. Oh look, more straight people talking about gay people. I'm Obio, and over the years I've noticed gay is a scary word for a lot of people, which is wild because it's just gay. But don't worry, I've decided to be your gay coach. <laughs> Everyone's talking about equality and love, but I don't know. It's just not enough. I washed my little hair today. Yeah, wait, what are we talking about? Mm -hmm. So we're talking about Lil Nas X. I've been asked a lot what are my opinions um, about him. Uh, about what he's doing. It seems that people are overly invested in the way he's carrying his sexuality. And this is also on both sides of the spectrum. It seems like straight guys are policing the hell out of his sexuality. And it seems like queer people are expecting him to like hold this torch on behalf of the community. And yeah, I don't know. On the one hand, I get it, right? I think we expect a lot of people with, with platforms to say the things that we hope to say to a large platform, if we have one, right? Like, if I had the attention of many, I would like to say this, I would like to say that, but I think we have to be in mind that that's what you would like to say, right? And I think when it comes to the artists, they're going to portray their art in the way in which they portray their art. And so when we're talking about Lil Nas X, in my opinion, he's not doing anything that is outside of what's happening in pop culture. Like talking about sex, having videos that are sexy, um, twerking and dancing and doing the things. And so it's also interesting how some people are trying to reach for things to not make it about being homophobic. Like within a week's time, Normani and Cardi B got the video that was almost similar. They're both butt naked, you know what I mean? Like doing their thing and the video was dope as was his video, Industry Baby. Like, you know, and so it's interesting that people are saying like, oh, like, I'm uncomfortable with this and it's not about him being gay. Are we sure? Is it a coincidence? Is it a coincidence? I ask you. Is it a coincidence? Come on, guys. Like, let's just call it space space. We can actually have a real conversation. But if we're going to act like this is about something other than his queerness, because again, like you guys seeing uh, nudity is not new. You guys talking, hearing uh, curse words, hearing about sex is not new. It's just you guys hearing about queer sex. No, nope, I'm lying. You guys hear about gay sex because we, we've heard about queer sex. We've heard many, many songs about girl and girl action, many, many songs about menage a trois, like all these things. But again, when it comes to some gay stuff, all of a sudden, it's an uproar. All of a sudden, he's doing too much. All of a sudden, you're, what your kids are watching is now your concern when why wasn't it for the past 10 years? Like, you know, all these different things. Then you have people telling you how to be a thing. And it's like, have we not already went through this with the feminist movement, like telling women how to be women? And likewise, you have cishet men telling gay people how to be gay. And last I checked, you didn't identify as that. So let the, let the people who do identify as that do what they do. It's time to wake them up. So yeah, I was gonna get all these notes together. I was gonna do a breakdown of his commentary and the things that were said about him, but that'd be unfair to him in my opinion. Like, because it's not about anything he's doing. It's the fact that he is gay and you guys are uncomfortable. Like, it's not, I don't think it's much more to that, to be frank. I don't think it's about um, anything demonic. I don't think it's about, you know, your, what your kids, your kids' viewership. I think it's about the fact that we haven't had a real conversation publicly about what queer is, what gay is, and what it isn't, and the respectability politics that you guys have attached to a lot of gay men and this torch that the gay community, not everybody, but some people choose to apply to people who do have larger platforms to then say on behalf of everybody in existence. Existence. And so until we have an actual conversation about what queerness looks like in this country. And no way. It seems oftentimes when we're talking about queerness, and this happens in day-to-day -day spaces, not even just through artistry, just through your day-to-day -day life, right? You'll be having a conversation with some people who may not be part of the community and they're talking about their their occurrences. And you bring up something that happened with you, and all of a sudden now it's a lesson on queerness. When all you wanted to do was talk about your day or talk about a moment that you had. It wasn't, you know what I'm saying? I didn't bring up, you know, a guy I dated or someone being attractive to then give you a lesson in queerness. It was just a part of my existence because I'm a gay dude. It seems like when you're queer, people are looking for, like, what did this mean? What did that mean? I thought it was clever. <laughs> like, I, I thought it was cool to say. I thought it went together. It was a fun record. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Lil Nas X is not exempt from having fun records because he's queer. 
and nor should his queerness not, not be able to be a part of those fun records. Like all those things can coexist at the same time without it having to be either a lesson for you or um, a political statement for those who are choosing to make those things that. I think people just didn't expect him to be A, as clever and funny or as comfortable as he is. I think oftentimes when people are queer in spaces that are not queer dominated, people think that they're going to appease the people around them, right? Like, I'm going to acquiesce enough to make the people around me comfortable. But when someone's in their full truth, even in spaces where you expect them to have it watered down, you don't know how to behave anymore. You're like flabbergasted at the fact that this person has not then made space for me to feel comfortable in my homophobia. What? How? What? What? So yeah, when it comes to Lil Nas X, I feel like if you were to ship the queerness of it, it you wouldn't have an issue. So... Your issue is the queerness. It's not the artist or the music. It's the fact that he's queer. And that's a you problem, not a his problem. So I'll see you guys in episode 31. Keep creating space. Peace.